Summertime means more storms for the Carolinas. We've certainly seen our share this week. Viewer Chris M asked us with all the storms lately, how accurate is the method of counting seconds between lightning and thunder to calculate miles for every second counted for how far away the lightning is? Our sources WCNC meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees and the National Centers for Environmental Information. As little kids, you probably were told to count the seconds between lightning and thunder, and that's how many miles away lightning would be. Honestly, I'm really glad you guys are doing this because it is something people get wrong all the time. Brittany says lightning is actually closer than you think. So it's whatever that second is, but those seconds are between the lightning and thunder. You have to do the division by five because that's factoring in the speed of sound. So if you count five seconds between a lightning strike and thunder, that means lightning is just one mile away, not five. When you're outside, Anytime if there's thunder and lightning around, you could get struck because lightning can strike about 30 miles out of the center of the storm. Data from the National Centers for Environmental Information show over the past five years, four deaths and 12 injuries have been reported in North Carolina from lightning strikes. Basically, if you hear thunder or see lightning, go inside, wait 30 minutes till after the last time you saw it and you're good to go. So we can verify that no, counting seconds between lightning and thunder to calculate the miles for every second is not accurate. Instead, you have to divide by five to really know how close it is. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.